morning my spiritual family I hope you make yourself a coffee and um, sit down with me today we are going to be going through okay um, study of Book of Amos oh, the Lord have been giving me this prophetic verse probably close to a week ago I just find it very challenging to um, finalize my study there's just a whole lot of things been going on and um, finally I got it done at midnight last night praise the Lord he's good you know the timing is everything to him and for me I have to challenge myself to wait on him to learn to wait on him now this book of Amos okay it's of the minor prophets it is of the Bible the Holy Bible it's very small books but very significant the prophet Amos lived among a group of shepherd shepherd in Tikoya I hope I pronounce that right Amos connection to the simple life of the people made its way into the center of his prophecies as this prophet showed a heart for an oppressed and the voiceless of in the world Amos prophecy two years before the earthquake though he came from southern kingdom of Judah Amos delivered delivered his prophecy against the northern kingdom of Israel and surrounding uh, and its surrounding nation leading to some resistance from prideful Israelites for the northern kingdom Jeroboam rules had been very prosperous um, for a long time however the moral decay that occurred at that time in the city in its kingdom okay it's um, contracts and positive from the maternal growth Amos was fed up he fed up <laughs> while most of the prophets okay interlace redemption and restoration in their prophecy for such consolations God's words through Amos had previously been addressed at the privileged people of Israel who had little regard for their less wealthy neighbor okay the rich the wealth the wealthy okay now the people took advantage of others and only care about themselves more than almost any other book of scripture the book of Amos holds God people accountable for their ill treatment of others it consistently highlights how the population has not accepted God's view of justice they were oppressed the weak and oppressing the poor and men were using women immorally what does that mean? but I'm sure it's not something nice so and they were drunk on their own economic success the point is the people had lost the concept of caring for one another I must rebuke them because he saw in that lifestyle of that Israel had forgotten God however live life utterly glamorous drunk in their richness richness you know um, pit of moral decay rather than um, seeking out to do good justice love mercy and walk humbly 
they embrace their arrogance, adultery, self-righteousness, and materialism. I must express God's total contempt for his people hypocritical way of lives. How we apply, how are we to apply this book to today's Christian? You may ask, because there's always a message you got when God show you uh, this history of 2000 years ago through the Bible verses and um, story. There's always a message that can be applied to today. So we take a look, okay, of today's Christian. Injustice transcend our world, yet as Christ, oh, sorry, yet as Christian, we often turn blind eyes to the suffering of others. For the so-called more important, okay, work line of religious, practice. Things like praying, preaching, and teaching, okay? But the book of Amos remind us that those works may be important to a believer's life, but it ring hollow when we don't love and serve others in our own lives, okay? Um, the prophecy of Amos should simplify the choice in our lives instead of choosing between prayer and service the book of Amos teaches us both prayer and service are both important God's call us not only to be in relationship with him okay but also to serve and be in relationship with others the healthy balance, everything is about healthy balance, okay? We know that's the world even knows this, okay? It's about healthy balance of both physical and spiritual needs of people, okay? Our attitudes, it matters to God. Justification, hallelujah. Now, praise the Lord. I want to wrap this up today it have been a really blessed assignment you know blissfully every messages that I have made three video of it seem the same message guys if you haven't noticed it seem the same message so go back look at my message one two and three I made this in different days for the study God said release it all today today it's all relevant praise the Lord the opportunity for me to actually relay this message for him and um, guys I'd like to pray for you okay you know, um, I pray that you'll come to understand how much important you are to the Lord, how much love He wanted to actually give you. He want to give you not just provision for your everyday living life, He want to give you wisdom, He want to give you self-discipline, way in living life that align with His Word. So take every message that he have okay speak to your heart seriously and apply to your life okay um, this books really speak to me as well you know not just for everybody else it's also speak to me to better myself to to um to walk in line with them so things will um manifest itself in a good way you know so we have a place life we can serve other people we can you know share each other burden inspire empower other people so in jesus name lord i pray that everyone will receive this today you know your word of wisdom your words of correction your words of love so we praise you jesus 
Thank you for this message. And thank you for watching my family. Spiritual family. I love you and God bless.